happy folks and how are you today and welcome back to the chad keegan youtube channel trucking edition spectacular and we call it that because well it is kind of spectacular because you never know what we're gonna do or get into we're jumping on the cushman right now um just got done doing that air ride and stuff like that for the blue truck and i want to get that throttle lock installed so i'm just cruising out right now to where the magic's gonna happen if there's gonna be any magic at all and i get this thing plugged in so we can get it charged up a little bit was um <clears throat> rolling some shit down earlier let's get this music turned down because it's crazy loud and we don't want it in our video because that's the kind of guy we are we always have music going but sometimes we got to turn the crap off if you know what i mean but it's what it is so <clears throat> I'm sitting out here and I'm looking at this stuff. I came out, cleaned my mess up, trying to let it warm up some because I don't necessarily want to be washing this thing down um, while it's, you know, cold out and stuff still, which it's going to happen. But I'd like to get this throttle lock installed real quick before I do. And it seems like it may be a pain in the butt because I don't necessarily have anything that I can just hook it on to, kind of like I did with Frank. Um, I do have one spot that I might be able to hook it to. I don't know. We'll see. But I got to get the cab up, and I have not lifted it up since I've got air in those bags. So that'll be something else. And then when it goes to sit back down when those bags are flat, I'm kind of worried. I hope it doesn't um, cause an issue with this stuff right here, if you know what I mean. Because you only got so much room right here, if you know what I mean. But um, get your eyes on this power steering reservoir over here real quick before I... You know turn it and be done with this stuff the bottom bracket right here we'll just grab this one right here say see all this rust and crap that's sitting right here all this stuff was built in and just building up you can see right there where it was puncture puncturing this um reservoir here like there's a spot right here where there was leaking there's a low spot right in here where it was leaking um here's another one look at the size of those holes right there look at the size of that and then what about that one Look at that one. So yeah, that's what was um, leaking on this and why I didn't want to just reuse this one and why I threw such a stink to try to get a new one, you know? So it's what it is. And if you watch the whole video of that situation, you seen at the end um, where I, I kind of lost it because I thought I got the wrong filter. Well, I called the place up that sent me the filter and they said when they crossed that number, that's the number that came up for that filter. So. I may be able to use that one. I don't know. Um, debating on whether I'm going to take the top off that's on the blue truck and see if that one will fit. I may tear that one apart first and see if it'll fit on that one before I go, you know, to those extreme measures. But that's what's going on today. Um, you know, just doing some BS and we'll see if we can get that throttle lock installed. If so, that'll be the shit. I'll clean this truck up and I'll be done with it until it goes back to on the show. truck we're getting ready to take uh the dash here apart and hopefully i can get to it because i got this stupid ass um thing right here and it seems like it's stuck on pretty good and there's one screw back here yeah i can get to it and these are actually phillips um screws you know this truck has phillips screws um some of this stuff up here is phillips some of it's this t20 um bit but this all on the dash is the phillips head so that's nice 
and I'm basically gonna mock it up. I wanna pull this off real quick because I wanna see um, what's behind here and how much clearance I have because in Frank, I don't have all these right here, these holes. Well, those holes are too big for me to shove that in there and make it work. So I'm basically gonna put it right here, just like it is on the green truck because I like having my hands here. You know what I mean? I like it right here. I don't want it on the floor. Um, you know, I don't want to have to be doing this while I'm driving, looking forward. I want everything right here at my hand. You know, I just want to pull that thing back and go, we got one, two, three, four on this dash. It should be enough to keep that in there. If, if for some odd reason, uh, I can't use it up here and it's too much to pull on this and it tears this dash up or something like that, you know, I'll, um, I'll move it somewhere else. But right now that's where I like it to be. Um, you know, a lot of people put it down here by their seat and stuff like that. I know you can't see that because you can only see right here in this region. But um, a lot of people will put it on the other side of their seat and have it there. I don't want it there because, like, you know, if I am cruising down the road and stuff and I want to set that and have it locked and, um, you know, just have it be my cruise, I want that. But also in the wintertime, if I want to idle this truck up because it's cold out, I can do that also. Yeah, that's, that's pretty stiff and solid up there. Um, I got this corner and the bottom corner down there still hooked up, so we'll see. But that just kind of popped open, so I don't know. That fucking, I don't know, man. If I have to rig some crap up, I guess I will. It's not like I'm, I want to, but, you know, I, I like the throttle lock. I like having the option to be able to pull on that and it run down the road by itself so let's get this off the way here pull this back and see yeah this is cracked up here so um might be one of them situations where uh it might not be the best idea to have it here if you know what I mean but that's where I want it and that's where I like the stuff but maybe I just won't even install it so I really don't feel like drilling a hole and then having the thing not work but I mean these ones are all going to be good so it is going to be somewhat tight this thing's just cracked back here that's why it's got a longer screw to it but it just plops out kind of I guess I'll just have to put it, see if I can put it lower. Um, okay, so there's really nothing back here but some airlines. See, this is why I'm doing this now because I can plop this out too. If I can't get that to where this is too much in there, in this whole section right here, can't go back here. This all right here can't go back here and um, move freely, then I'm, I'm basically SOL with this because it just ain't gonna work, if you know what I mean, because there's not enough room. Let me see. I'm gonna shove this back here and then I'm just gonna pull it out the bottom real quick. And uh, we'll see if we can make it work real quick. I said because if I can't get that to go then uh, it's it's no bueno pretty much now let me, let me reduce some stuff it's not gonna I'm not gonna be able to close that like with that there so let me get this bottom panel off real quick and I'll pull it through I'll actually pull it through like I'm gonna do that so give me a second here well, so this is what I got going on. I ran it through the center hole to try to see how much room I would have in the back there because you gotta have a certain amount of room in the back there for this thing to, um, you know, actually like hook up here. And we'll just, um, I'll just do this real quick. So we can stick this right there like that. If it'll go. And anyways, I can, I can put it up at the top because there's a big enough gap um 
to where I can, it'll be, it'll be okay if I have it up here. But my only problem is, is this up here is blowed out and that thing comes off with the bolt or the screw. So I, I would have to, you know, drill this somewhat right in here and have it up towards the top because there's only enough clearance back here at the top as you can see if not if it's any lower it hits this heater box down in here and this is probably hard to see because um it's dark and the sun is blaring in so let me get um let me get my handy phone here and i'll see if i can get some light up in there and i'll show you real quick what i'm talking about Okay, not really probably because I still can't see anything see back here probably not but right back here is that heater box crap so or some kind of panel that um, it's hitting if it goes in that center section but if it's in that top section it clears that right there so I could use that um, and I'd have enough space but like I said this thing right here is busted in a dash and uh, I don't know if that, how long that would last and that would just tear out. So that would be loose. I mean, I do have the one at the bottom, one over here to top and then this guy over here is good, but that's it for holes because you know, this is cracked right here like this. So, and you know, this, this stuff you can't get. Um, I'm not sure exactly, you know, you can put all you want to, but the pressure of that pulling in and out sometimes would, um, maybe cause an issue and it's not like i want to hold that panel with one hand and try to pull that out while i'm driving i mean it's something i could do i just reach my arm through the steering wheel and do that number you know what i'm saying with my elbow but it might not be um might not be something i want to do because i don't really feel like drilling a hole for that to go through and then um that not working out so this may be one of the things that it actually does get put on the floor right here but it ain't gonna happen today because i'm not in the mood for that i guess i'll have to pedal until i um feel like i definitely need it so that's um blue truck one throttle lock none for me today i guess because i don't i don't know i don't know where else to put it you know i've got a couple other spots i like that spot because it's right there and it's handy like i explained but i just i don't know if it's feasible or not to where like i said that panel's not just going to end up ripping out of the dash and it's not worth tearing up my truck for a throttle lock i'll pedal if somebody else wants to do it if they bought it they could so it's what it is um guess i'll throw this stuff back together and um i'll, I'll keep racking my brain there is this right here though to where maybe i could um clean one of these out jack the cab up clean one of these out run it down through here because that's you know an open hole and stuff and that might have been a throttle lock back in the day i don't know but this wouldn't be too bad i'd say boom 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 you know i could probably manage something here because you know it's easy it's not too bad to grab but you know boom boom so we'll see We'll see, I don't know, I'll think about it. I gotta get my thinking cap out and put it on and we'll see what's up. So this is what we got going on. Um, end up jacking the cab up because I, I started checking this out anyways. And um, there's a section over here that I had that foam and duct tape and stuff like that when I sexed this up to uh, keep the all the wind from going up in here. Um, it was kind of low and I think the air ride holds it up a little bit higher than what it used to. Um, to where there was a gap so I was going to need to replace this anyways and I thought oh this would be a good spot to put it because it's got this right here but let me uh, move some shit around here real quick because I got the drill out I'm about to do some stuff um, it would be right in there and it would probably you know that's the airline so what I can do is I can drill that out and this can sit right down in there because there's already a hole right there so this can pretty much sit right down in there uh, so that's probably what's going to happen. I'm going to open that hole up. I'm going to try to shove it right here. And then I'm looking at some stuff around here. Um, if I need to loop this thing, I can. I can run it back as far as I need to and then pull it back up to where I've got a couple spots over there where um, I can probably hook a bracket kind of like that one is what uh, the green trucks is hooked on. But there's a 
there's a hole on this side that I could probably hook something to and have it come out here and then just run it up to where it'll catch this guy once it goes back. Because, you know, once this goes back, it's like this, boom, boom. And then I can have something grab this and hold it open from here. Or there's a hole on this too that I could probably put something to, but I'd probably put it down here. I don't know. That's just what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna tap that out. I'm gonna run that real quick and I'm gonna see if I like it. If not, I'll uh, pull it, but I'm gonna need to go to the store anyways and get some new duct tape and uh, some more foam because this is gonna have to be sexed up. If not, there's gonna be a gap like this and all kinds of wind just coming in freeze you out. Everybody that runs a truck like this knows about that gap. Well, I got the hole drilled and uh, it's fine. Just ran it down there and checked it out, but I had to uh, stop and take it off because I've got the bolt and stuff, you know, kind of like I did the last time, had that situation. So I figured I will put this on here because I can tighten this up if I want to right now, to be honest with you, I just gotta get it. Everything's kind of jacked up. And whether, I mean, whether it gets hooked up, hooked up today or not, it's, it's in here and it can be easily hooked up. So that's what's going on. That's what's up. And I wish it can. Like I said, I need to run to the store. So just go and grab some shit. And I can honestly have this as high as I want to. So if I want to have it to where it sticks up like this, I can. I'll just need to tighten the stuff. So I can have this as pretty much as high as I want to. But I'm kind of sketched because I don't know how um if it'll clear when it's coming down i guess that's a problem so we'll just leave it about right here for now and i guess if i want to move it i can it's not really that big of a deal but we'll just get it to where it's tight i just you know i'm worried about when this comes down ouch that's my arm it's my fucking wrist man okay i had that tight as fuck Boom, shove her down. I like it. Now oh, tighten that up some more. Uh, and we'll leave it right there like that for now. That way if we wanted to tighten that up, we could. But we'll, um, that'll probably never even get used that lock because I won't need it, you know what I'm saying? I just need to pull it up, plop it, boom, push it back down. Bada bling, bada bloom. And, uh, we got some throttle lockage and then we can run this pretty much anywhere we want to now you know obviously it's a lot so it may it may do a loop somewhere because i don't necessarily want um want it get in the way of everything else so we'll see what happens next um i guess i can honestly just put it down here like this and I've got a bunch of fucking grease on my hand because I had sprayed WD-40 up in this yesterday I had this all apart when I was uh jacking around and stuff I don't necessarily want it back that far unfortunately it's a lot longer than what we needed it to be like I totally could put um a couple loops in this thing and and just tie it up you know what I mean? Like corral it. That's what was nice about having it on the dash in the green truck is it barely had enough room to, you know, when it stretched out and stuff to where it wasn't an issue. So what it is. I guess we'll figure out where we're going to do now. I'll loop it, run it. Bring it back. I could drop it down through the frame and just bring it back and run a loop to where it doesn't bother the exhaust and stuff just to get the room out of it. You know what I mean? Stretch it out some. We ain't got no issues. And just loop it back here on something. I don't know. I don't know, man. let you know when I figure something out just running it for now hi right, folks welcome back to under Chad Keegan's truck on the uh, YouTube channel 
So I just ran uptown, had to go uptown because I had to make parts run. Um, obviously, I told you I need to get some foam and stuff for this. Got a nice big chunk that I'll be able to, I'm going to like measure this section right here and I'm gonna cut that out and then I'm gonna wiggle it and then I'm gonna slap it down and then I'll, I'll fab it up. And then I got some of that strip foam too that's for like air conditioners that I'll do the rest up. And I got some, uh, couple rolls of black duct tape because that's kind of guy I am and then I got also um, some waterproof tape to be honest with you and I needed to run to the store because I needed this all right since you've been gone I before I ever ran uptown plus I needed this little clevis pin to stick right in there for that wire to go through right there and then I'll put the thing on the end right there and that'll hold that right there. And then this right here, I needed this right here. Okay, it'll go right down on here. Now, since you've been gone, I'll bring you back and we'll, we'll rewind a little bit, okay? You seen this. Oh uh, no, I told you I was gonna route it. I routed it, okay? Let's get your eyes on where I routed it. And you're probably gonna, this is a head scratcher right here, but it's just what it is, okay? Because I didn't wanna have to loop it and stuff, but how I've got it routed, it's got the perfect amount of room and it may need change just a little bit, but we're gonna run with it for now because, and I mean, we could easily make some adjustments if we needed to, cause it's really not that big of a deal. And um, I guess when I set the cab down all the way, I'll find out if I need to uh, reroute it. But anyways, it comes from right here, okay? It comes from right here, under here, right here, down through here, channels. And now it runs back through here, okay? Well, I got it running through here. It runs right through the frame down where the clutch rod runs and it goes back. All right, let's go back there real quick. I'll try not to bust my head and shit because I've already did that um, climbing in here. Get that out of the way. And now we're on the back side of this. Okay, here it's coming running down, which I'm going to end up tying it up over here to something else so it's not in the way and messing with that clutch linkage, but it's over here in the frame. Now it loops back here because this is the only spot where I can loop it and it not bother nobody, all right? Now it comes back through here and check this out. I've got these holes right here in this um, air ride. That's where those big bolts were. Now the only thing I would be worried about is if that's gonna go down all the way when that cab goes down all the way. But those are pretty much closed and I don't think that's gonna slam down on that. This cab doesn't weigh as much as what Frank does. So, and I haven't checked yet, but it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, when I need to lower it, I'll check it out. I'm just um, not doing it right now. Yeah, I've got a leak up there. I gotta figure out where that's coming from. If that's leaking from that hose or not. I was stepping around on some shit. Maybe, I don't know, that's new. So, forget about that though. But anyways, operation throttle lock is go. I had to go uptown so I could get those parts. And then it basically comes back up through there, just like a, over this air thing, because I knew this was gonna be a problem and I wasn't sure what I was gonna do. And then that this little guy right here, I'm gonna drill into that. He's gonna mount right here. Then that's gonna hold that tight. Okay, that's gonna be drilled out. That's gonna hold that tight. And then we got this pin, and then we've got some more of these, uh, these other things over here in the cart that are going to hold that wire from going nowhere these which i have some of these i wasn't sure um what size i needed so i just got some more because they're only three bucks so what's what's four dollars between friends right so that's what's going on with that um like always off camera i'm gonna check that stuff out and uh see what's going on so at least we got that and then once i get that done i'll bring you back and i'll fab this up get this all sexed up and stuff like that i kind of want to bring this down to see if this is going to hit or anything you know when this is coming down and stuff which i can do um real quick and then i will you know bring you back when it's time to show off some stuff our work
Well, that's that. I wish um, wish that frame job would have drilled. Ooh, that's hot. Drilled out in that easy yesterday. That would have been nice. You know what? I still need to. I do have this, but I need to um, I need to crank this thing down real quick. I had to move a couple of my springs. I need to um, yeah. That'll pull it down in. That should pull it down in. You crank the shit out of that thing. You know what I mean? When you tighten this stuff up. Come on, get on there. There we go. That'll pull it right down in there. And that's about all I want. So I just have enough. I had to move a couple of my throttle springs around, which it's not that big of a deal. It wasn't that big of a deal. So I just boom, pull that thing up. And uh, wada bing, bada boom. I'm gonna jack the cab down real quick. I'm gonna let it down. I'm gonna see if it does anything with this. If it because I kind of pushed on that spring and stuff, and uh, it wasn't. Um, it didn't go down all the way. But I mean, the cab is heavy enough to where it could. And I need to see if this is gonna crush. So let's go. Um, let's go back here, and we'll jack it down real quick, and we'll see what's up and we'll keep our eyes on that stuff and we'll just move back and forth quickly so nothing um nothing happens we don't want it to because i don't want it to on that throttle you know let's see we got enough room oh yeah we're still holding tight you're still holding tight i just checked up there it's just a little drip out of a hose should be okay not that big of a deal all right we're, we're coming down Oh yeah, we got plenty of room up there. So let's just stop it right here. And we'll go over there and we'll assess that situation. Get out of there. Get that thing out of there. We'll assess that situation real quick. And I will be able to see how much I can actually put that up. It looks like we're good right here. So we honestly can raise this up as high as we want to because I never tighten this down. So if I want to bring this to about right here, I should be have enough clearance room right here to do so. As long as it doesn't um, catch this when it's going down, which I don't see why it would. It never has before. Oh, that's kind of odd though. Let's see. Let's um, let's put it down all the way because we want to. We want to see if it's going to smash that that line. So we'll get you over here. Where you can see and then i will let it down i might be able to climb up through here all right let's put you let's put you right here like this so you're right there see that line right there right there that line right there is what you're you can't see that line right there is what we're looking for so if this comes down in here we'll see we'll know it and i'm just gonna stand here like this okay that cleared up there so that should be good and let me stop this real quick and do something Okay, so that is pinching that right there. So that cannot go right there. That has to go somewhere else. Um, I can probably just run it on the inside of this or uh, the outside between the spring and stuff. That'll be fine. Uh, it just can't go right there. So we'll have to raise her back up. And uh, now we know that that would crush it. And wow, that's crushing the air tube too, because that's right there. So that's something that, um, that's one thing that stinks about air ride. So I guess I'll have to, whenever I wash the truck or do anything like that with this truck, I'll have to um, make sure that I 
Because look at that, that's, that's going to smash on that too. So I'll raise it back up. Usually it's stopped by now, you know, because it's, um, that, that was stiffer and stuff for the solid mount. But, I mean, now we know. And like I said, we don't want our air tube getting crushed, so we'll have to, uh, Maybe we can, no, we can't lower it because it's gotta be at that certain angle. So that's what it is, folks. We'll be back. Well, before I make this final adjustment here on this guy and raise him up some, um, I'll probably take him all the way up because why not? Why not have it the closest I can because I don't wanna be doing this number when I'm in the seat, but if you can see, nope, you can't. So I'm going to jack you down just a scotch to where you can see this right here. This is the mechanism, the throttle linkage mechanism. Okay, we're going to take it back like this. Right here is our, our um, throttle lock cable that doesn't come back all the way until you pull up on that bad boy and boom. What a blot of bling. Look at it. Let's get your eyes in there, man. Let's get your eyes on that shit. Look at that. Boom, he's holding it. He's holding him back. Okay, we want to take him down. Boom, we just we just dropped him. We just dropped him like it was hot. Boom, we just hit that button and boom. So let's stick you, stick you right here like this so you can see the action unfold. Shove this back because we're wham, wham, chicka wham. Uh, we're settling out, we're doing 65. Boom, we're going 65 miles per hour when we're locked in and we're taking our foot off the pedal because we don't need it no more. Oh, we need to slow down. Boom, we're off of it. So that's what i'm talking about throttle lock installed on the blue truck so what i'm going to do now probably is i'm going to sex this up paint this here real quick throw a little paint on this i may paint this area too may tape all this off real quick and just throw a little spritz on it because i've got that foam and stuff and i'd like to spray some sticky stuff and then take that foam down really don't matter though i may not even do anything like that i might just clean it up i probably will paint it just to sex it up a little bit get some of that rust out of there then I'll cut that thing, I'll slam it down on there, I'll do the rest of my tape job, fix that up, and then I'm going to hose this bitch down with some degreaser because it's been a long time since this engine has got a proper bath. And uh, throw some zip ties around, do that thing, you know what I mean? And then plug it in so it's a little bit warmer. Fire it up and take it down the road and see how the throttle lock works. So that's what I'm ta talking about. Oh, here we go. Let's get this ice cold one out. We got koozie on right now, but. The old thinking cap out, do what we gotta do, get our stuff done. That's what's up. Well, we're back up under here. <coughs> Unfortunately, I did the naughty and I sprayed this down and I didn't wear a mask and I should have and now I'm coughing and should have known better than to fall in love with you. I mean, <clears throat> paint without a mask. Anywho, this is what I've got. This is an air conditioning insulation panel, okay? That looks like it is about perfect size to um, go right here. So I got a tape measure because I'm gonna measure this up real quick that section and I'm gonna cut it out basically. I'm gonna take this out, I'm gonna boom template it and boom, I'm gonna cut it. <coughs> and then for everything else <coughs> that needs extra, I bought three of these. And I do have a few chunks in the garage if I need them, but hopefully I don't need to. So what I'm gonna do with this, once I get this on there, I'm gonna start layering this on, okay? And then just, but wait, there's more. I've got rolls of black duct, whoa! I've got rolls of black duct tape to, um, you know, get it all sexed up and stuff. Just boom, 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 wrap around there. Boom, boom, wrap around there, get what we need. And then I've got this waterproof tape to put on top of this, especially for this stuff down here that's gonna get wet while it rains. That way we're taken care of, you know what I mean? We wanna be taken care of and we don't want our little feet to get cold because we don't like when our feet get cold. These little feet of mine, they're gonna stay nice and toasty. These little feet of mine, we'll see. 
hopefully uh we'll probably find out saturday because it's supposed to be 41 ish so we'll find out saturday will be the first day we actually work the truck i still got to call the dispatchers and let them know because i haven't yet because well enjoy my time off if you know what i mean so <clears throat> i'm gonna cut that up and i'm gonna do it so that's what time it is all right folks so what we got going on uh this actually was like this but i only I, I needed both because i needed it to be that thick you know what i'm saying pretty much just let the cab down cut this out and then stuff this stuff back in there doc big stuff and that stuff back up in there so we're good on the front because i closed it so i know we're good here and this kind of gets caught up right here but once i put tape it's going to suck it in some so it's not going to be a big deal and then i need one chunk back here because it this just barely caught right back here so i need one chunk there and then um i'll be good to start throwing some duct tape on that shit you know me start ducking it if you can't duck it you know what to say man so we're gonna cut a chunk right there and i'll probably just stick it in between the um the things i don't need to go overboard and this honestly is a chunk that was in um the old garage so i really didn't need those three um you know what i mean those three things of it but i got them and that's fine because i may need it somewhere else some other time you never know what's going to happen but what's going to happen is i'm going to when i tape this it's pretty much i'm going to i'm going to wrap it around the bottom when i first start doing it so it's going to pull this in some so not really worried about these sides or nothing plus i could tuck it into that side if i wanted to when i start doing it you know what i mean but uh, i'm sure it's going to suck it in and pull it in because i'm going to squeeze it when i Put the kibosh on it to tape it because i kind of want it to poof up a little bit but it should be all right so that's what's going on i'm going to cut that chunk get it on there and start running some duct tape and um i'll be back and show you the finished product because that's that kind of guy i am you know what i mean i'm gonna go inside and have a couple beers and my old lady's gonna come out and do all this stuff or my wife because you know i don't do any work she does it all i got elves i got elves well we back and uh this is about as good as it's gonna get um didn't use that big waterproof tape because i didn't like it i thought man it's not gonna fold and flex as easy and i did this three years ago so it's proven that this works and it lasts because um if it wasn't for me putting the throttle lock in here and needing this area i wouldn't have had to do this again because that shit was still holding up that i'd done before and i did close it and i do know you know this is sticking up a little bit at the back but it's okay it'll smash down and or you know keep this from doing what it needs to do and other than that this is probably perfect i don't think this is going to even catch that i don't know i haven't closed it yet but if it does it ain't going to be no big deal you know what i mean i could always throw some more tape on and tighten it up but i don't mind the way it is right now it looks clean it's clean because it's fresh and um you know you can't um yeah get your eyes on that man looks like old baseball bat like black um electrical tape on a baseball bat you can't um you can't sport a sticker like this on a truck like this if uh if you don't have some shit like that going on so that's what i'm talking about um throttle lock installed now i can uh spray this thing down if i want to real quick with some cleaner and or wait until tomorrow to do it i don't know yet uh just one of them things uh, usually when I do this, what I'll do is I'll take a, a like Menards bag and I'll just run some blue tape up there and I'll tape around that area. That way I don't worry about that. But I am going to spray this real quick and I'm probably going to throw on a mask because I don't want to suck all that crap in like I did before. But that's that. So, you know, say what you want to about me. I don't really care. Uh, that's cleaner than having towels and shit like that stuff down there. And I've seen some other people with phone jobs that... Uh, weren't that nice even though that's just some duct tape and foam so it's what it is i don't know maybe i'll take you down the road if i get this thing washed up and we run with that throttle lock if not we'll check you out the next time i guess we'll see Hello. so i Went down under the truck real quick while it was jacked down. Uh, swapped those two things around with that throttle lock. Woo! That's how quick that pulls it back. Oh yeah, man, that throttle lock just pulls that shit back. So let's.
let's go um let's go for a ride down the road and i'll see if i can lock it i'm gonna turn this off and um i don't know you'll probably all like blurry and stuff but it's what it is so enjoy we'll um cruise real quick down the road let's see if we can get this fucking radio to work this truck is only running at about 160 water temp right now hasn't hasn't pushed up anything over that that the, that I know of because well I didn't really run it yesterday for too long but you know what I mean oh yeah muy different muy bueno means much better um if you didn't know no USB I can't remember what buttons these even are I need my freaking glasses that's what I need. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about for throttle. Ten times better. And my blue light started working on the other side, so. We'll run her down the road. We'll hit that throttle lock and, and uh, just let her pull. I, I hope that I can figure it out to where I can just barely bump it and, you know, it does what I want it to do and it doesn't go like fucking blam, just scream out. But we're also bobtailing, so yeah. Big difference, huh? Wouldn't you say? Yeah, you would. Need to tighten up my jump seat box over there. It's rattling a little bit. today folks uh, getting ready to run outside and do some stuff on blue chalk and um probably try to get that air ride on it's about 50 degrees out maybe if that a little bit colder i don't know 9 a.m it's uh second week in november beginning on monday and uh, i need to get after that stuff because i've got a list of things i need to do take care of this week because it will be cold after that so i'll be making some phone calls and doing some other things but while i was down on my little trip i received a package in the mail from our friends down in florida danica cone and danny cone uh they must have she had messaged me a while and said hey we got some stuff for you but i wasn't sure what it was or when it was coming and it came up you know last week while I was gone, so I'm gonna open this up real quick and see what it is because I'm kind of curious. See what it is. 
It's been on the table and stuff for a couple days, but you know, I just haven't been doing too much and I figured I'd wait for the right time and well, the time is now. I don't know if I can get to some of this tape. It's insane. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Wrapped pretty well. Got the keychain. It is a keychain. Well, whatever this is, they did not want to get damaged because this is bubble wrap. Like you wouldn't believe, and I may have some fun with this later around the dogs. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure if this is made, if they made this, or uh, if they bought this, but I, I would almost think. They made it, but I'm not sure it's a little Frankenstein guy. Let me see. Aww. Let's see what we got here on the keychain. It might be the same type deal here. Yes, it is, but it's a little keychain. Isn't that something? Uh, guy, he's got um, some wire for his mouth. That's pretty cool. Get in there on that. It's awesome. Some more stuff to add to the collection of the Frankenstein truck. Um, oh, this this probably could go in there, but I'm not sure where or if I would want it in there to get damaged. We may just keep this um for a decoration that goes out on Halloween and stuff. So appreciate that. Big shouts to Danny and Danica for this. Um, really appreciate it. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. 